I'm not letting it slide. I'm not letting him just disrespect everybody and everybody. Shadow banning doesn't exist on YouTube. Your content is just ass. An effort they consistently put out. It's an echo chamber of content creators overhyping, and this over promotion culture just leads to disappointment each and every single time. And Swift, the main cog gobbler of this game, just pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> he called him a cock gobbler, dude. Damn. <laughs> Yo, this guy actually said rest. He called him a cock gobbler and then he actually fluctuated his tone. <laughs> I need a replay on that. That was actually really good. Oh, man. I don't even care if I get made fun of for laughing or voice cracking on this one. That's so funny. He said it's an echo chamber of overhyping shit. I've seen it. Being in the anime adventures tab and the multiverse tab and even anime clash tab. It's like the top 10 content creators on there just overglazed Roblox games to, to uh, survive. There you go. Over promotion, yeah. Pisses me off. Oh, damn. <laughs> he made fun of his fucking tone, dude. Jesus Christ. I, yo, Swift fans are going to be like, Swift, he won this. Like, you know what I mean? Like the rap battle where you had the mic last. So it's just like, yeah, our guy won because he got the last word or whatever. But the reality is, damn. <laughs> damn it. That's so good. First thing is he talks about recycled editing when he's literally using damn near the same editing format as me. And even if him himself thinks his editing is better, or you guys even think his editing is better, it really shouldn't matter that much. The first thing is I upload damn near. For the for the record, I think both of them edit pretty good. Uh, that that black dude getting sprayed by the water bottle thing was really annoying. Like it was really hard to see what his video actually was about, like what he was saying, because the the other guy, the dunk dude or whatever, he's like got a terrible microphone like you can hardly hear his mumbling and then when this guy's got like another filter on top of that and it's like you're chunking from the other videos so it, it makes the audio even worse in the uh, capture i don't care if i don't actually edit my own videos you can tell uh it, it makes it even harder to understand what the other side's saying so when you have this guy at an even higher octave just like whining Especially towards an audience that's already used to his tones and everything like that. Just declaring narratives and stuff like that. It's really difficult to even, like, even root for the other guy or play a devil's advocate to the situation. Because, well, this guy's got, like, the whole narrative in this video. Where the other one doesn't have any specific video stuff. He's literally just talking about the game and the guy. Like, from experiencing of watching it or whatever every single day he uploads once every few weeks in this video specifically I oh so now he's saying because of his upload speed of every single day uploading a video that his so so it's him too just like real c's he's like i'm editing and making a video every day uh i don't have time to make it good like it's like dude come on dude I know it took him weeks to make. Damn, that video only had 3,000 views and this guy's getting salty about it. You blew up his channel. You guys might be thinking, how do I know it took him weeks to make? Well, if you look at the start of his video, he actually puts a screenshot of my channel. And in that screenshot, it says 26.6K subscribers and 145 videos. And now if you look at my channel, I have 167 videos wow. and 3K subs. And I don't know why he would have had a screenshot of my channel before, so I'm assuming he took it when he initially started. This is all an assumption. That could have been like he just screenshotted the video when he had, uh, screenshotted it when he had an idea. And he could have just left it in the folder and been like, oh. That's a that's good for a thumbnail. I, I'll put that in there or whatever. Because I'm going to be talking about him. Like, that doesn't mean he started editing right then and there. Video. So in the time span of him making this one video, I made 20 plus videos. And maybe he has to do other things. Maybe he goes to school as well. But I yeah, exactly. I'm also a college student. And regardless, obviously, he didn't care about my scenario when he brought my name up multiple times this video and other people. He doesn't care about your scenario because of the, the, the glazing culture, he said. He doesn't like that. You, you, if you're uploading 20 videos glazing real sees a, a fucking month, then it, it, it's justifiably, like... 
he doesn't have the moral high ground or anything, but him being annoyed that you're glazing real seas every day, like, I, I don't think that's, like, a bad thing. It's like, this guy glazes ro this game every day, and everybody thinks it's the game's messiah. And I'm watching the effects, I'm looking at the audio and stuff like that, and it's kind of, it's kind of mid. And this guy's just like, how dare you call it mid, and all this other shit. Like I said, I don't even try to get personal with my videos. I you try do. to be as respectful as possible most of the time, but no. he's just an exception. I mean, looking at his content... He says he tries to be respectful, and then he literally had a guy getting... Cry that might have been him. I saw the same, like, black dude or whatever, but uh, he had the same dude just, like, spraying the gla like the water in his face to cry over and over, like, when he was saying his points. So he was very disrespectful to the guy. He was very salty. And what he said on Discord, he literally just exists to shit talk me and other creators. And obviously the most popular and hyped up games that the community likes. And you know, these posts, for somebody that's like talking about how his screenshots are as old as fuck. Uh, when making the video and doing calculations, he is bringing up stuff from November. Like the logs for proof. Why didn't he bring up something in January? actually trash talking the community themselves so that was some digging right there scenario, just a little bit different than normally no now, would you believe me if i told you he sounds even dumber by the end of this video I all right let's see let's see it nobody would believe me but no i don't he does overall the game will not live to the outrageous expectations people have overhyped them for unless they actually start putting in work and offering attention to more areas of the game they need to fire whatever dipshit does their ass effects and VFX. I don't know, man. Just let them work as Tetris or something. And I still just can't believe this is a serious video. He told me he thought... That was supposed to be unbelievable. He said if they don't work on it better, it's gonna die. I think everybody can agree that that was a good take. He thought it was an April was Fool's. April Fool's and his calendar was messed up on his phone or something. I would believe him because there's just no way. First of all, with the overhyped expectations, you are the only one that's holding it to this expectation. I don't know what content he is. He is not the only. I mean, maybe the only content creator. It sounded like he was about to say that. He is not the only person that thinks that Real Seas is uh, overhyped. No way. It, it, that's that's just like uh I don't know what's going. On. He's got voices, I guess. Yeah. Creators, you think are holding Real C as high as you are expectations wise? You're saying it has to be perfect, literally. But in, in, yeah, I guess. More areas of the game. The only areas he's talking about is visuals and effects. So it seems like we got another case of that. If the visuals aren't perfect or the visuals aren't just really insanely good, the game is not good. Yeah. He even proves this in his That's what everyone's saying. Comment about this. He said, quick heads up, Rail sees white knights. I think SFX and VFX aren't what makes the game good. Yes, they are. And then he goes on to say it's not worthy of the title of Block Shoots Killer. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 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 in the camp with the other guy, bro. This guy is uh Swift is too lost in the sauce, man. That guy's right. He is. He is quite the co uh, what is it the cock gobbler, as he put it. Yeah. Really, yeah. Nobody even says these things. Yep. And maybe you've seen people say they're gonna play it over block shoots. That doesn't mean it's gonna kill block shoots. And no. The, the dev. The, the, the dev said it would kill block shoot, and like did like a music video of like he will he will be destroyed and all this stuff. And this guy was like happy about it at the time too. No way. No way. No, he didn't. Hybrid culture needs to stop. It's a breeding ground for disappointment. Grand Kaizen was just a recent example of this. Yeah. What are we ever going to learn? And you might think this last comment is actually somewhat decent, but it's really not. The first thing is he talks about this overhyping culture for games. And if we're talking about Grand Kaizen specifically, no one really overhyped Grand Kaizen. Or let me just speak for myself because I can only really speak for myself. But I made two videos, one before the game came out and one after the game came out. Wait, he made a video on it though. So he hyped it. Both bashing the game completely. He said, oh, so is now overhyping equal 20 videos like he does for real C's? Or, you know what I mean? Like, he's now counting. He's like, I only made one that was hyping it and one that was, like, saying it was a scam. But I've made 100 Real Seas videos. Uh, dude, I'm not even overhyping Real Seas right now. It's not overhype culture. It's like, I mean, you're really making an ass of yourself with a video every day on Real Seas. Even 
with that being said, people still played the game. And you guys might be thinking, why did you even cover it or make a video on it if the game is bad? Well, I didn't think all, that. Like I said, I have to support myself literally going through college. So oh, 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 so, so, wait a minute. So, this guy is saying, uh, justifiably so. I, I, I just made a video on the game because I need to pay for my college. Well, what about him? What if, it, it looked like his channel was in the fucking ground with 1,000 subscribers. And the video he's crying about, from my memory, was 2.5 2 like, uh, views. Like 2,500. I'm on YouTube. This guy's on YouTube. That other guy's on YouTube. We know that that is nothing. You get to 1,000, and then you need to break, like, 300,000 views or something like that. Like, uh, on YouTube. Or maybe it's, like, 20,000 or something. On just like regular videos alone on like public watch time and then it's like a million for shorts so for somebody that's like oh i need to go to college dude you're getting like 60 70 views a, a video like you're fine if you're not fine then why are you even punching down is it my job to you know actually cover these games if i don't cover these games that i don't really like those same people that are so he's just like justifiably show so i can i can cover and clout up these games that are going to scam people and all this other stuff because i need to get through college but this guy's not allowed to have this opinion about real seas and name drop a bunch of content creators even though the same guy that clouded up grand kaizen a day later called it a scam so he said it was like it was his but it seems like the only people that are allowed to do anything are people that you know have to pay through college and stuff like that but not other people really just him so it's just he gets the moral high ground because he's him. So very, very fair. Very cool. Complaining that I do cover them are going to complain that I only talk about rail C's. And I already get enough of that. I already get Swift TFT. Why do you only talk about rail C's? What's well, one of the... Because he's overhyping. No, it's no, it's not, it's not, it's not that. Because if you, if, if you were only caring about rail C's because of that, we wouldn't have all this college bullshit. Like, you're overhyping it because if it's the Blocks Fruit Killer, it'll have more of a player base and stuff like that, and you'll get even more money. Like, you, him attacking the Blocks Fruit community, or whatever, with the, with, uh, with Real Seas to get a bunch of the Blocks Fruit community shaken up, and then have them check out the game, it, it like, it, it, it only benefits him to do this. If Real Seas never brought up Blocks Fruit, if it wasn't like doing all this drama stuff that they're promoting, then the game wouldn't even get the views that he's getting right now. The 70,000. He wouldn't be getting it. To want to make content on something you actually enjoy. I don't know why we're at this ridiculous standard where that's not a normal thing to do. And yes, I prefer talking about the new updates for Rail Seas over making a video on updates on games that are straight trash and I know they're going to be bad. So for I mean, I mean, you could cover something else if he has a problem with you glazing it. Seems like if something else is interesting enough, you'll make a video. Saying that I'm glazing yeah, I'll play uh, fucking anime. Sees all these different things. It's not only that I just know they're gonna do better as videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says stop, stop, stop covering and milking re real seas. And he's just like, yeah, dude, you're making. He already said he makes twenty videos in like a in like two weeks or whatever. So it's like he's been milking the shit out of real seas. I guess he could talk about something else. Maybe he's just insecure because that's all he has been doing with his content lately talking about the games compared to some of these other games. I also think it's funny that he only brings me up in this video specifically as a content creator, but half of the time he's talking about content creators, I'm one of the ones that actually is the exception to the rule that didn't do the thing that he did. I think it's because he overcovers it that he brought up him specifically because he overglazes real seas. So he's just like, you are the biggest problem here hate so much and also this is just a bad comparison why are we comparing a game like grand kaizen which showed us zero good things compared to rail c's pocket anime and holy war and games because uh, if a game gets overhyped and it ends up being shit we all get disappointed and sad and we want all the games to do good so critiquing the games that are getting overhyped is good because if we give it enough critiques the game if the game is successful uh we won't be disappointed if if we don't It'll be a Grand Kaizen situation where the devs don't feel like they have to work more than whatever. Getting opinions from other sources is always a good thing. Uh, Pocket Anime is not even doing testing until February, February, so we actually have even more time to wait. 
this nature. Of course, people are gonna be more hyped for games that have actually shown stuff that look really good compared to a game that literally there's fucking anime right there. there. Hype, I guess. But realistically, I don't even feel like I need to explain why comparing Grand Kaizen to Rail Seas makes no sense. But I also do want to clarify some things. The first thing is normally I would be a lot more respectful, like I said, but he's literally. What? Why is he? Why is he saying the same thing again, dude? About myself, my own livelihood, and a lot of other people's. So to me, he doesn't deserve any respect, in my opinion. That's obviously just me. You guys can have your own opinion. But the second thing I want to clarify is I don't take any of this opportunity you guys have given me for granted. Every time you guys like, subscribe, watch the videos, watch the streams, literally anything that you guys do. To oh, what a happy ending! He just dug into the guy and made fun of him for like ten minutes, and he's just like, guys, spread positivity. Uh, it was so nice of you to like, comment, subscribe. It's just like, yo, bro, uh, are you worried that some of the stupid shit that you just said in this video could bounce back at you and then you lose, like, all your views and shit like that? Because you you rolled the die as soon as you decided to not be respectful. As a very disrespectful person myself, I know what you just did. That was quite the maneuver. <laughs> I really appreciate sincerely, and I don't take any of that stuff for granted. Yes, you do. Like, I seriously want to make this clear because I don't want this video to come off as, like, some sort of ego or something like that. Because I genuinely know I wouldn't be able to... You do have an ego. He... As somebody, as the smallest content creator posted a video with maybe, like, 2,000 views on it. And it was enough for you to make a video crying about it anything without you guys actually watching and supporting the channel like sometimes i look at the numbers and I, they don't even make sense to my head like i remember my goal was to post consistently an average 10,000 views and we're clearly way past that now and i know it's gonna sound corny but it really shows if you guys really want something just work hard and it's gonna start to happen oh my god bro <laughs> okay we're done listening to this